Okay guys, this is going to be a quick video on the RCX, RCX motors. Um, we've bought a few of these and we're going to try them out on different quads and we're going to compare these to the sunny skies. And we've got parrots outside going crazy. But anyway, um, so these are basically a very, very small brushless motor that run at pretty high RPMs. It's running at, what is it, 2400 it says here, KB. So um, these little motors are really, really cheap. Uh, as far as quality goes and performance, I don't think they're as powerful as the sunny skies, but they're not bad. They really do perform quite well still. Um, it depends how you set up your throttle curve. You can still get a reasonable amount of grunt out of these. Another cool thing too, I just remember this, these um, motors are actually different. Yes, you've got clockwise and anti-clockwise spinning motors uh, and uh, thread for the actual um um, the spinners that go on these. So basically what it means, the way we've got these set up, none of these have actually been tightened. As the prop spins, they actually self-tighten. So there's no chance of these uh, coming off. You'll notice with the sunny skies, a lot of people take these spinners off and they put on the ones with the little nylon insert, which means it minimizes the chance of them coming loose because they do come loose. And I've had one of mine come loose, haven't I? Oh, yes, yeah, on takeoff. So. Lucky it was, it just it didn't take off. All that happened was one of the props come flying off, and I was wondering why it just kept doing this every time I tried to take off. So, uh, fantastic idea by having clockwise and anti-clockwise spinning motors. Um, and as far as value for money, these don't seem too bad at all, do they, Tom? Um, no, well, I've been running with these the whole time, and you can get some pretty high speeds, and you can stay in a turn, pump up the hill, and you'll be perfectly fine in it. So what I'll do is I'm going to get a video up of uh, Tom's flying with these motors and you can hear the sound, etc. and see actually what they sound like and how that, how it seems to perform. And um, I think you'll be quite impressed. What we'll do is do a follow-up video on this in a month or so and discuss whether these motors are still holding up, whether they've gotten loose or they've got any issues, you know what I mean? But as far as value for money, look, they're really cheap. I think they're around about $10 or thereabouts. I can't remember the exact price, but they're not, not very expensive at all. So way cheaper than the Sunny Skies. Um, not as much power, but still a lot of fun, aren't they? Um, yeah, well, they seem fine from my point of view when I'm flying. Anyway, look, what I'll do is I'll cut to the footage of the quad in action with these. Um, thanks for watching the video, and uh, we'll catch you guys later. See ya.